With two weeks of school in the books, we're continuing our back to school coverage with our superintendents. And this morning, I'm joined by Dr. Wendy Robinson, superintendent of Fort Wayne Community Schools. Thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure. And we're a couple weeks into the new school year. How has it been getting back? It's been phenomenal. Uh, this is what we live for. Uh, although uh, we're year round in terms of administrators, just having kids come back, it energizes everyone. So, mm -hmm. second week, things are smoothing out. Uh, some of the kinks you have that first day of school, um, I'm out visiting schools and I'm seeing everybody settled into routine. So everything's going very well. Yeah, and I know it's a huge job all year long mm -hmm. during summer vacation. How has it been planning for the kids, the students, the faculty to come mm -hmm. back all at the same time? One of the things that we try to do uh, with the board and with the administrators is to have a cycle, a year-long cycle so that we don't have ebbs and flows and, and that we don't have surprises. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're just really in the mode of always trying to be a couple of months ahead in terms of our thinking. Um, so we do professional support for our administrators and teachers during the summer, obviously fixing up our buildings, uh, ordering supplies. Um, it's just a never-ending constant job, but it's all worth it that first day. Big topic in the news, uh, some budget cuts. Mm -hmm. The result of transportation being cut to thousands of kids having to find other mm -hmm. uh, modes of transportation. How has that transition been? Well, emotionally for the parents and for the students and for the administrators, superintendent and the board, it's been very, very painful because we know mm -hmm. that our parents and our students rely on us in transportation in today's world is just something students aren't used to mm -hmm. uh, having to walk because transportation has been available. Uh, what I appreciate is that we started ahead of time. We've been talking about this for almost seven months. I think we had prepared for as many of the uh, emergencies that could occur. Uh, and what I really appreciate is people are starting to settle in. They don't like it, uh, obviously, when you change what people are used to. But our uh, teachers, uh, I've got some schools where my teachers are even trying to walk kids part of the way home oh. to develop those routines. So when you've got that kind of environment and dedication, uh, it'll work out. It's not what we wanted to have to do. Uh, but with tax cuts, that's the result. Yeah. And I know a lot of uh, safety measurements have been put in mm -hmm. place. You have worked with the police department to mm -hmm. make those walks a little bit easier, right? Absolutely. Uh, the city of Fort Wayne, uh, Mayor Henry and his administration, they've been phenomenal. Uh, we've had weekly meetings with transportation, with my student support services, uh, pretty much all of the departments that have to do with the sidewalks, traffic safety, hiring of safety uh, guards. Uh, so we really couldn't have done it without that kind of support. Uh, we had extra police officers helping watch ki for kids the first week, firefighters. So it's truly been a community effort. And I think all of that cooperation has really helped what is a difficult situation, uh, not an ideal situation, uh, be a little smoother. Mm -hmm. Changing gears now, so several construction projects are in the works. Several schools will be getting mm -hmm. some facelifts. Can you talk about those? It is absolutely amazing to see what can happen. Uh, Snyder, for example, um, in our uh, construction process, about $119 million this community blessed us with, uh, we tried to make absolutely certain we did upgrades, but we didn't really add any additional square footage. But if you look at Snyder, if you look at Portage, if you pass by Northwood, uh, Bloomingdale, uh, what's noticeable for the students and the teachers and the parents inside, um, the lighting, the windows, uh, the in most of those buildings, obviously the upgrading and the air conditioning. Yeah. So we are just so appreciative uh, and want to make sure that the community understands. We saved money. We were extremely frugal, did what we needed to do, uh, but we think we've been good stewards of taxpayers' dollars and intend to start that conversation for another phase. Uh, we still have, that was 10 buildings. Mm -hmm. We have 53. And so we're looking at the next phase, uh, probably starting those discussions next month or so. Okay. We'll continue to follow those. Outside of school, what's something that students might be surprised to know about you? You know, I thought about that, and I think uh, most people would be surprised to know I've been in this district since I was six years old. Uh, I'm an October birthday, so I started uh, school in kindergarten here in the Fort Wayne Community mm -hmm. Schools. So I've been here, um, I always jokingly say, since the earth cooled. <laughs> That's amazing. That's great. That's great to know. Dr. Robinson, we really appreciate your Thank time. Thank you so much. Thank you, and have a great year.